So this is the tree. Uh, um, the tree what I am going to show you uh, a little later in the clip. Uh, let me stop here. I don't know. This is one year old coconut tree which was cut down and uh, already you can see the decaying process right there it's already started there at the at the top of the tree and actually uh, all the detritive war or the community of decomposers uh, they are working inside they work inside out. So I think if I press here, it is already soft. See there, it is already soft. I'll show you here because the work is being done inside. Look at that. It's all slowly, it started here and it's slowly coming here. Look at inside, it is completely decomposed. Look at that. There are lizards. There are uh, maggots, there are snails and millipedes, and there are beetles, and there are, uh, there are larvae and earthworms. All of them are at work inside. They are secretly recycling and decomposing the tree. But whatever it happens, the tree what I've been showing you, this is outer decomposition and decay. See, so most it has been done from outside, they went inside. And the tree, what I'm filming right now, they go from inside, outside. So whatever it is, it is decomposition and decay. It's all being done very secretly. Look at that. How nicely. It looks like an art, isn't it? It looks like an art. Lot of chambers. So I think these chambers they are like a termites. That's what I believe. Termite chambers. They are the last one to arrive because they couldn't get inside the cellulose. They couldn't get it inside. So other creatures they they break the tree down and it is exposed. Then termites come and they feast. So it is a, it's a place of uh, feasting and uh, millions of uh, bacteria and other creatures of belonging to the detritivo community, they come and feast here. So it's a season of plenty for them and plenty to eat and as I told you this tree is going to go deep and deep. It's only decaying from inside out. So this is the tree. So there are lots of, if you have a microscopic bacteria, you can watch plenty of life here. And uh, uh, look at the, uh, the, the soil is so wet, lot of moisture. So this tree uh, is uh, decomposed uh, more efficiently because there is moisture there and also nitrogen. You know where there is nitrogen? The decomposition and decaying process is much faster. When you see the peanut farms, the peanuts that uh, leaves are full of nitrogen and uh, you leave them within a month, everything disappears because the decomposition is faster because most of the uh, microscopic bacteria they are nitrogen lovers. They want to eat nitrogen and, and uh, they break down the nitrogen and they make them into nutrients again. So I think there are a lot of nitrogen content 
inside the tree and it's quite becoming faster now and also it depends on the sunlight and depends on the environment uh, to assess how tree, trees are decayed, how long it will take. For example, both the trees I cut down the same time, the same day. But look at the, the process there, it is a very faster, you think no, it's a delusion. It's not fast, it is the same. As I told you, that is outside to inside. This is inside to outside. So we've got two perfect examples right here. So we may not understand fully what's happening in the natural world, but still we can observe and we can explore and, uh, and understand how the natural world is working. Now, we need to learn from these uh, plants and the detritive of community. Everything is recycled. But the human community, we forgot to recycle. And we dig natural resources again and again and again. But you see here, they teach a, a profound les lesson to human community. And you see they take the material from here and they flourish, they die, and again they take the same material. It's called a circular model of production. They don't import material from Australia or America or Africa. The same material. The same material becomes the leaves or a fruit or a flower or the bark. And again they give back and the same material becomes again and again millions of years. They take the resources, what is available, in their immediate environment. They never go to other habitats and bring the resources. That is a, <laughs> that's a very, very uh, important and profound lesson we need to learn from the natural world. Circular model of production. So that is what they do. They come, they become producers, they become consumers, they become decomposers, again producers, consumers and decomposers, again producers, consumers. I, I think this is a secret code with which God is creating the universe. The whole cosmos is dependent on this principle, the circular model of production. So I think learn from the dead coconut tree. Again, I'm in Katapudi village. Today is the 30th of December 2017. Only one day to go for the new year 2018. And I wish you all a very happy new year. 2018 and may the new year uh, make us to learn more from the natural world. So ecosystems can teach us and they, can, they, they, don't, they have nothing to learn from humans. All wisdom comes from nature. So these are the profound lessons we need to teach to our children and to the future generations in order to continue our existence on planet Earth. Thank you and a happy new year. 2018.